Separate the ribbon to be spliced from the bundle. Cut the ribbon at approximately 72 inches from the signal side. Route the cut ribbon through a transportation tube or spiral wrap and secure one end to the central core tube with electrical or other approved tape, and then the other end to the router. Do not install the large router cover as this will impede removal of the acrylate from the ribbon. Remove the acrylate per locally approved methods down to the router. Trim the router tubes so that they reach from the router to the opposite side of the splice tray. Mark the buffer tube to be spliced to at the splice tray entry. Place the trim tubes over the router fingers. Then route the fibers through the appropriate tubes. These tubes may be selected for specific customers or routed to other trays. Place foam tape over the tubes and then secure them to the tray with tie wraps. Prepare the buffer tube to be spliced. Use approved methods for cleaning and splicing the fibers. After splicing is complete, install the clear cover and then secure the tray using the hook and loop strap. Close the closure cover with the snaps at each end and then tighten the security screw.